So we are still continuing with the, our discussion where we are discussing the accounting for overhead cost. And uh, in our previous discussion, we have looked at uh, uh, two stages of accounting for overhead cost. We first looked at uh, correction and, uh, and the classification of overheads, where we said that uh, you correct overheads uh, from various cost centers. Then after correcting those overheads, then you classify the overheads. You classify as overheads that are fixed, overheads that are variable, and it's in variable and uh, mm -hmm. those which are semi-variable and then uh, the semi-fixed. Then we also looked at uh, allocation and uh, apportionment of overheads. And we said for overheads that are direct, then you need to just allocate them uh, to a given cost center or to a given cost unit. But uh, overheads that are indirect, you need to apportion them uh, to given cost centers. And uh, we said that when you are apportioning overheads, then you need to use what we call an apportionment base. So you, you need to look for the apportionment base. Then we have looked at an example on how to do apportionment. So I want us uh, to continue with our discussion. And this time we are looking at uh, uh, overheads uh, in the service centers. So in this discussion, we are going to look at the service de departments uh, providing services to other service departments or to other uh, departments. For example, you can have ICT department or you can have maintenance department. The maintenance, depart maintenance department can be providing a service to either the ICT department but also provide a service to production department. Or you have ICT department, it provides the service to itself, it also provides the service to maintenance, but it also provides the service to other departments. So where you have uh, such situation, you need to determine the cost, or you need to allocate a cost from this service department to your production department. So when we are locating a cost from service department, mainly we have got uh, five methods that can be used to, of, sorry, four methods which can be used uh, to allocate a cost from a service department uh, to other departments. So these are the main methods that you can use to allocate a cost from a service department to production department. So you can have what we call a direct method, we have what we call a repeated distribution, we have step down, and then we have simultaneous uh, equation. So we are going to look at uh, each of these departments on and how they work. So if we are using a direct method, it's similar to what we have looked at uh, in our previous discussion. You are just going to apportion those overheads from the service department to production. But if you are using a repeated distribution, so the, 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 the service or the, the service from other department can be shared with, it can be shared in, within the same service. The, the, for example, if you have maintenance and the store, so the maintenance can provide the service to store and the store can also provide the service to maintenance. Then you need to look at how each of these departments share or provide the service to each other and then get the cost from them and then allocate or apportion it to production. So it is similar to step down and uh, simultaneous equations. So we are going to look at this uh, and we are going to look at an example in order to be able to understand how these methods operate. So we have got this illustration, a manufacturer uh, company uh, has three product departments and the two service department. Uh, overhead of this department for the period are as follows. So these are the, op these are the production department, A, B, C, D, and these are the service department. So a technical assessment for the apportionment of cost in the service department shows that 
how the service department offers uh, or this the offer services to other departments so for example for x it offers a service of 40 percent to a 20 percent to b 20 percent to c and 10 percent to y for y it offers 50 percent to a 20 percent to b 30 percent to c and 10 percent to x a, a service cannot offer service to itself it we just look at where it is offering a service uh, to other to other departments so you are required to show the total overhead chargeable to three de production department uh, we are going to use all the four methods uh, such that you can understand uh, these methods the way they operate uh, this is the information we have from the other previous example we have said so this is the departments department a department b department c and these are the relevant costs for this department this is the uh, service department department x and the department y and these are the cost and this is our total cost so this is how as we saw in the in the other illustration how service de other these departments offer services to uh, production departments and other departments as we saw x is 40 to a to b is 20 to c is 30 and to y is 10 and uh, as we saw in this so as if we are using a direct method uh, when we are using the direct method uh, we are we are assuming that uh, these service departments they don't offer service uh, within themselves all the services they of they make all, all their services are offered to production department so if you look at this for example uh, our for x the cost is 30 and x is offering uh, if you look at this x is offering 40 percent to a 20 percent to b and 30 percent uh, to c and we are assuming that this is this service department are not offering a cost a service to themselves so all these services are offered to production so because these services are offered to production then when we are distributing we are only going to consider the 40 percent plus 20 percent plus 30 percent which gives us 90. so in this case it means that a will receive a service from x which will be 40 percent over 90 times 30 and then you get this b will offer service which will be 20 percent over 90 times 30 and you get that then c will offer service of 20 of 30 percent over 90 times 30 from x then if you go to y still it's the same we have 40 for a 50 for a b and c are 20 percent so you just get 50 percent over 90 times the the cost of a i mean the cost of of x of y and then you get your uh, you get your total cost so your total production cost remember these were direct cost so the, the total production cost you're going to get what it gets from x and what it gets from y and then you get uh, the total cost of production of these companies so this are the, these are the direct direct method so in direct method as i'm saying you just assume that uh, these service departments are only offering a service to production so they are not offering a service to themselves so all the all their cost must be distributed to production uh, based on how this they offer their services to this production department so let's look at another method which is step down in step down what we are looking at is that uh, it want to be similar to the previous but in this case the service department will, can offer a service to another first service department but when we are computing what we do is that if service if y has given a service to x then x will not give a service to y so x will give only service to the, uh, the production department that is where we look at it uh, that's how we do the step down for example 
if you are cautioning why in the, these are the overhead costs that we had in our previous part uh, for x for a b c uh, x and y and we are saying we are apportioning uh, or we are apportioning the overhead cost of y so when you are apportioning the overhead cost of y our y is 50 meaning this y will give to x so in this case we are using the other previous uh, previous uh, percentage that the way they, 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 they distribute x y gives x 40 percent it gives 40 percent uh, it gives 20% 20% So if you add uh, this one it will give you uh, the 50% It gives this one 20% 40% uh, This is 20% This is 30% and it gives x 10%. So you look at 20% of 50, which it gives to a. 20% of 50 here. This will be 30% of 50, and this is 10% of the other 50 that it gives. So we are still using the other percentage that we are given in our in our question. So when it comes to here, it means y has been the total y or the total cost of y is now balancing to zero now we are now distribute or we are now apportioning apportioning x so what is the total of x remember x x had 30 it has received 5000 from y so the total of x is now 35 so x this 35 will be distributed to only these three production department you are not going to distribute it again to y you only distribute it to the three production department so when you are distributing to three production department it means uh, if you look at the three production department the percentage you are using 40 20 30 it cannot be a hundred so the percentage will be 90 so when you are when you are distributing this it you can't put it to 100 because it is not going to distribute to y it's only distributing 40 percent here 20 percent here and 30 percent so you are calculating the distribution or the apportionment on on 90. so if you calculate uh, when you calculate as we, we have looked at so this would be uh, 50 percent over nine over 90 or 50 over 90 times uh, this cost this would be uh, 20 percent over 90 and this will also be 20 percent over 90 then you go to total of 35 so this one has also been distributed so the, at the end these ones must be or must be balanced to zero so we only look at this totals as our production cost when we use the step down so let's look at our third method which is a reciprocal or repeated distribution in the reciprocal the difference with the step down that in the step down one department one service department can offer to another but in the second it cannot you need to distribute the remaining amount to production department but in a repeated distribution one department will offer to, uh, will give a service to another or will charge a cost to another department but in turn even the other department will charge a cost from the other department that, uh, where they deal together so in this case if you look at the same question we are doing if you look at the same question that we are doing we have these departments a b c d 
So if we apportion y, we are using the same percentage. Uh, we are portioning y. This is 20. Uh, this is sorry. This is 40. This is 20. This is 30. And this is 10 percent. So meaning that y will offer is will charge a cost to all of these departments. So if you add the total here, the y balances to zero. But here we are going to have 35. So 35 will be distributed to the other production department and also to Y. So you are going to have this 35 distributed to or apportioned to department B, department C, department uh, A, and then also to, depart to service department Y using the other percentages that we have in our question. Now, after distributing uh, to y, of course, this one, uh, y is now becoming zero, but x has got a balance. So this balance of x needed to be distributed again to other departments because there is a cost here which needed to be distributed. So this cost is going to be distributed to to A, uh, to A, B, and C, and then D, using the same percentages that we looked at before. So now you have come, this one is now balancing, and this one is now balancing to zero, but now we have uh, we have another cost here which is 350 this 350 uh, which is now for x should be now charged uh, to x so when you charge it i mean you charge it to the other department because it is small we cannot now charge it again to y to y so we are going to distribute it to the remaining departments remember once you when you are distributing it is not it to only three departments it can no longer be a hundred percent you need to look at what are the percentage that i have for the three departments then you add them then you make the proportionate based on the total the percentages you have for the three departments so the last method we can talk about is the simultaneous equation simultaneous equation uh, as you need you need to solve to determine the total you are going to distribute for x and the total you are going to distribute for y so if you only have two departments if you have three departments then you will need a total for x y and z so because in this question we only have two departments we shall have we shall need a total that we are going to distribute for x and you have later that this let this total be w for department x and if for the total for department z uh, we called it, and we said the Z to be the total for department Y. Now, uh, so it means our Y will be, remember, what's the percentage Z gets to Z from this one? Z gets from Y, so X get, Z gets from Y 0 0.1. This means this is 0 0.1, and this one is also getting 0 0.1. So that's why we are having here, Our equation department the total for department X will be what 0 0.1 from what it gets from Z plus the total the, the overhead cost it has then Z will be equal to 0 0.1 remember it is getting 10 percent 0 0.1 from what it gets from Z or from W plus the 30,000 uh, it's normal overhead cost. Now, if you want this one, now we need to use some, some small mathematics. So, what we need is uh, to know because we have 0 0.1 here, 0 0.1 here, we can select any, any equation that we want to, 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 to use. So, if you want to remain with the only z here, the best way the, to remove this point here, 
we can multiply 10 by the, in the whole equation. So if you multiply by 10, you will have 10w equal to z plus 500. I have multiplied 10 in the whole equation 1. So what is the value of z here? z will be 10w minus uh, 500. So I've put this one, this end, this one, this end. Oh, I've taken this one, uh, the 500 in this end, and I've remained with z. So which I'm getting as z is equal to 10w minus 500. So I can simplify by subtracting equation 2 from equation 4. My equation 2 uh, is here. Z is equal to 0 0.1 W uh, plus 30,000. And my equation 4 is 10 W minus 500. So I simplify by subtracting equation 2 from 4. I will get sorry 9.9. .9, uh, if I get Z minus Z, this is 0. So I'm here getting 10 W minus 0 0.1. This is 9.9 .9, uh, minus uh, 530. So it means here 9.9 uh, .9 W will equal to uh, 530. So what is the value of W? So if we sub, if we simplify here, W will be equal to 53 uh, 535. Now you can put this one in equation 4 to get Z. So if you substitute in equation 4, you get Z as 35,353.54. So once you have got this, it means you are supposed to distribute the total of Y, or the total for W will be this, and the total for Z will be this one. So remember, this is our X, and this is our Y. So once you do that, then you know you do the normal distribution that we have looked at uh, in the previous uh, discussion. So this is going to be this one is unknown uh, given. So you have 30 here, and this is uh, 50. So when we are distributing, remember what how much are we supposed to distribute for? For x, we are supposed to distribute uh, 35, 353. This is the amount we are supposed to distribute for x. So, if you distribute this for x, remember you are distributing now to a, b, c, and a y. We have this percentage in our previous slides, in your previous part. So, you are distributing this in the four department. Then, after this, you are going to get a total for x or a total for y. So our y will be equal to so we are distributing uh, for x and x we have distributed which is 35 and we have distributed it for four departments uh, that is a b c and d so what you get uh, it means for z for y the total will be this 50 from what it has got then you get 53 it is equal to what to what we calculated in our previous uh, this amount so you are distributing this one but you are also distributing it uh, in four departments so that is a b c d and and x so when you balance these ones they will become zero and then you get your total your total cost so we are remaining with one part which is the overhead absorption so which we are going to look at in our next video